thing, guys, as you can see, that Persona 2, her darkness, still a mirage. All of them are pretty much what they should be. But Legend of Dragoon missing manual for 30 is actually a really good deal, as disc only goes for around 40. Uh, I'm gonna look around and see if anything else is a deal or anything else worth showing. Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, it is absolutely pouring outside. Uh, but in there, I had her bring me the Legend of Lagaya and the Legend of Dragoon. Well, not bring them to me, unlock it. They are as is, and they both have one scratch on them each that I'm, I'm really concerned about, so I did pass. They are pretty good deals, but as is and untested and having that mark, it's it's not worth the risk, honestly. Um, Lagaya is like 75 right now, complete. So for 50, it would have been a good deal if it was clean. Um, Dragoon, it is going for around 80, it looked like, uh, recently. And just Miss Mania, I'm sure I still could have got 50 or 60, but... They both may work, and there's a good chance they work. It just wasn't worth the risk to me. Uh, I did end up picking up Midnight Club LA Remix for $10. It goes anywhere from $25 to $30, so it is complete and in pretty good shape, so I figured it was worth the risk there. They also had a bunch of goosebumps I didn't have, but the other day, finding them at $0.50 cents a piece made me really not want to pay $2 a piece, so I want to mull that one over. Um, but I am getting pretty close, I feel like, to come in my goosebumps collection, so I may come back and get those, so stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, today's flea market was pretty interesting. It all kind of happened like a fast little bunch, so couldn't really record at the time. First walked out there, and a guy was holding Mortal Kombat 2. Box has seen better days, but it's not bad. Uh, the guy was looking at this and a couple other items, and they offered it to him for 20 bucks, and he put it down. Mortal Kombat 2 card only is worth 20 bucks, so definitely picked that up. He had other stuff. I was waiting on prices. We tried to negotiate and just couldn't get deals. He was he was he was around the cusp of good deals, but it couldn't wouldn't work with me enough. So all I got was that. And uh, nothing else was too special that he had either. And then I picked up all this stuff for thirty five. He was initially asking two bucks a piece on the goosebumps and a dollar a piece on VHS. Picked up a ton of goosebumps I didn't have. Most of them are in pretty clean shape, as clean as the you find for goosebumps most of the time. So pretty excited there. And I still don't know what I'm really looking at when I'm looking for VHS. This is the stuff I grabbed. There was other people that were grabbing stuff. And there's a big table filled with them. So I don't know. I feel like, well, I know that honestly 35 bucks just for those Goosebumps books would have been a good deal. So whatever I get back out of those is nice. Uh, and the only movie out of all these that I've seen is The Others. I really do like that movie. I know I don't think it's special on VHS because it's not special on DVD, but grabbed it because why not? So <laughs> that's it for today. Uh, let's know if I find anything else. Stay tuned, guys. All right, just had an Amazon order come in. Um, I picked up a Kai. It is a PS4 title. I don't know a ton about it, but honestly, the cover alone had me super interested. But it went on sale for 20 bucks. Uh, I recently got in a PS4 copy and sold it because I wanted the PS5. And then just a couple days later, the PS5 went on sale. And I picked up for my girlfriend a Animal Crossing controller. Do you know it opened up too so you can see it? That's sick. I think that was like 20 or something like that. She's got a bunch now though, so. Stay tuned for more guys. All right guys, went ahead and picked up a lot. Um, I was at dinner, checking Facebook Marketplace and I found a lot listed for 200 bucks. Came with a DS Lite. Really clean, uh, has the original stylus, has the Game Boy Advance cover too. Really clean copy, really clean console. Uh, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Council 3, Pet Hamster's Life 2, Aquarium, and some filler titles you see here. Harry Potter's pretty cool. Uh, Avatar, I like the series, but I've never played the game. Ben 10, I remember a little bit of the series, but I never played the game. And I've watched a little bit of the Clone Wars, once again, never played the game. But the reason I bought it for 200 was these three games here. We have Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, Stardust Accelerator World Championship 2009. Uh, this is worth, I think, about 20 to 30. I wonder if this has the... I'll, I'll check in a minute, see if it has the cards inside it. They have Kirby Superstar Ultra. This is complete, in a really good shape. And the main reason I picked it up was Pokemon Black 2. This is complete down to all the inserts and very clean. In this condition, one just sold for $225, so definitely worth it at $200. I'm going to keep this. 
gonna sell off Kirby the console and then I'll probably grab a few games that every time I decide to keep something I try to grab a few things from my collection that that attached to so I'll sell some of that and I'll make it into the profit but gonna keep these two and I'll probably keep the filler titles because they're harder to move in general I'll lot this together for 75 80 bucks sell this and then grab some other stuff to offset the rest of the cost but really excited to pick up that Pokemon 2 Black 2 so not a bad deal at all Pull out the coupe at the light.